With the confirmation we will soon be receiving a new Starfield showcase, the question on your mind is, what is Bethesda and Xbox actually going to show? Well, the previous showcase gave us some answers to the core mechanics of the game when it comes to combat, flying, communicating and some tidbits here and there in relation to shipcrafting and settlements building. But the interesting question now is, what has Bethesda built on these core mechanics? Because if Starfield is going to be a great game, these pillars or core mechanics need depth. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we can expect or what I hope is addressed in the next presentation. Let's go. Companions. companions. I'm starting off with companions because I feel it's one of those pillars most people haven't really talked about. And that's fine because Bethesda games are generally known for exploration as opposed to your relationship development with other individuals. But with Starfield, I feel Bethesda can take this aspect to a whole different level. So what do we know? We know Vasco is going to be one of your companions in the game and he likely belongs to Constellation. We also know Bethesda has tried to make the companions more dynamic and believable by having them interact and comment on the world around you. We know there's going to be a lot of emphasis on dialogue in this game so from a conversational point of view, there's going to be a lot of exchanges with these companions. Now what we don't know is, what has Bethesda built on this and how do these companions interact with the systems in the game? For example, is it possible to have multiple companions follow you on a mission? And if so, will these companions interact with each other Mass Effect style, commenting on each other's factions and beliefs? Will they interject when the other is trying to persuade you to follow a particular path? And how will combat play out? What bonuses and buffs will they give you? Maybe resilience, stealth or stopping power for example. Can you give them directives during combat such as providing cover fire or staying put? Or how about letting them know this mission will be completely stealth focused? There's a lot of potential here and even more if you implement a combo like system like in Mass Effect Andromeda. But that's probably a reach. This is still a Bethesda game. So let's not focus on aspects we like in other games too much. What I want them to show in this showcase is actually unedited interactions with your companions. So meeting, talking, adventuring, combat, them interacting with your ship or settlement. And more importantly, are these characters pivotal to the main plot? and can my decisions around them affect the main story? Hopefully we'll get these answers soon. Next point is exploration. exploration. One of the main talking points was Bethesda's 1000 planets and everyone's fear that these celestial bodies will be barren. What I would like to see here is how can we differentiate the handcrafted planets from the ones that might just be an ice ball? Todd mentioned this feature will be in the game, so I guess what I'm trying to say is, I would like to see the UI around this. We know from one of the most recent interviews that there will be an indication if some sort of systems are above your current level. Again, what are the visual cues for this? Can we still explore these systems without fear of being attacked? Can we potentially bribe or persuade these enemies to turn a blind eye? But for me really, what I'm more interested in is the actual land exploration. We have confirmation we can land anywhere on the planet and we also have confirmation each planet will have its own potential resource listed on the bottom right corner I believe. But is this done via scanning the planets before arrival or is this information freely given? And what about traversing? Is it possible to explore a planet with a land rover or a low altitude aircraft? And finally, can we mount alien creatures? Exploration and lore is one of the things Bethesda does well, so I'm not in doubt when it comes to this aspect. I just want a deeper dive into how exploration in Starfield will differ from other Bethesda games. Next one is Settlement. Settlement. I'll be upfront. This wasn't an aspect of the game I was particularly interested in, and for the most part I can see myself sticking to the basics. In fact, the most settlement system I've had contact with was Mass Effect Andromeda, and that was bare bones and actually just non-existent. However, the more I play Starfield, the... <laughs> However, the more I watch Starfield, the more I see potential here, especially when it's interacting with the other core pillars of the game. For example, how your companions interact with the settlement system might make it a bit more interesting from a story perspective. Or maybe how having multiple settlements in the game can affect how each faction views you, maybe as a potential ally or threat. But also, let's talk about the people. It's all well and good having generic AI to fill up space, but having individuals with the actual stories behind them can make the game feel a lot more alive. This can ensure you have an emotional incentive to actually see the settlement succeed and progress. And I'm not saying Bethesda needs to handwrite narratives for all these individuals, but we do know AI and procedural generated content is a thin, and we all know exactly the capabilities of ChatGBT. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if Bethesda's procedural generated content when it comes to writing interesting story points for some individuals has increased. But I guess the main thing here is, how important is this pillar to the actual game? Can the settlement system be completely ignored? Or is it something we need to participate in? And if we do have to participate in it, how much do we actually need to know? And how much time do we need to invest? Again, some of you Fallout guys might have a better insight on this, so let me know in the comment section, please. Shipbuilding and exploration. Ship building and exploration. When it comes to exploration in Starfield, we know it's going to be land-based and space-based. We all generally have an idea as to how land exploration will be from playing previous Bethesda games and pretty much any other adventure or RPG game. But the question here is, what's Bethesda's take on space exploration? How do we chart a course from one section in the settled system to the opposite side of the settled system? Will a cutscene be activated if we enter a new solar system or is it completely free roaming? And while the ship is stationary, can we actually step out and explore space? Is there combat in space with normal weapons? How do we capture loot in space? Do we have multiple ships available to us? Maybe certain ones are primarily used for combat, others more for traversing and others to avoid conflict entirely. And then finally, how does space combat work? Do we need to buy ammunition? Can we have different types of weapons installed in our ships, each weapon with a different purpose? And what's the cooldown time for some of these weapons? And what about companions as crew members? Will they give additional attribute points to certain areas like speed or looting? Can we charter flights and explore our ship as we fly, interacting with different members on our crew? If we have multiple people on our ship, will we need to expand our ship to accommodate them? How does docking and boarding a ship work? There's a lot here. And like I said, there's other games out there Bethesda can look towards for guidance on this. But regardless, we can be sure Bethesda will put their own spin on it. To conclude, what I really want to see in this showcase is a full mission from start to finish. So that's interacting with the mission provider, talking to a companion, walking around the city, investigating, taking out enemies, boarding your ship, exploring in space, locating the enemy ship, boarding the enemy ship, destroying the enemy ship, returning the package to the mission provider, and having your companions respond to the actions you did throughout the whole mission. And that's it. How the game actually works is what I'm interested in. A showcase showing the actual game. Anyways, that's it for now. Do let me know what you would like to see in the new showcase. Are you more interested in just the dates, the weapons? Are you interested in how combat works? Are you interested in companions? Are you interested in the story? Let me know down below.